Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with Luna the Math Cat, and we're going to do the geometry of solids. Okay, so, oh, Luna's bailing on me. Okay, so a solid formed by polygons that encloses a single region of space is called a polyhedron. Okay, so here's some polyhedrons. Okay, so the flat polygonal surfaces of those are called faces, okay? So this here is a pentagonal prism. It has two bases and five lateral faces, and so it has a total of seven faces. This box right here has six faces. This pyramid has five faces, okay? Now, the lines that form the pyramid or prism or whatever we have are called edges. And the point where three or more edges intersect is called a vertex. So here's a vertex. So this has five vertices. This one has 10 vertices. This one has eight vertices. Okay, those are basically the corners. Okay. So polygons are classified by the number of sides they have. Polyhedrons are classified by the number of faces. So a triangle, you would classify it as a triangle because it has three sides, okay? But this is a tetrahedron. Tetra means four. It's got four faces. This is a hexahedron because it has six faces, okay? So a regular polygon is a polyhedron where each face is a congruent regular polygon. So in this tetrahedron, all four faces of this thing are identical triangles, okay? Equilateral triangles. This cube, each face is an identical square. This is a regular octahedron here. It has eight faces. They're all exactly the same kind of triangle. A dodecahedron. That would have uh, 12 faces, dodec, 2, 2 plus 10. Icosahedron hair would have 20 faces that would all be identical triangles. Okay, a prism is a polyhedron with two faces called bases that are congruent parallel polygons. So here we have... Uh, a triangular prism. It's a prism because it has this face and this face are parallel and uh, they're exactly the same shape. The other faces, the ones that are rectangles and can occasionally be parallelograms, those are called lateral faces. Okay? If the lateral faces are rectangles, like in all of these, then that's called a right prism. If the lateral faces are parallelograms, a prism is called an oblique prism. So an oblique prism would look, I don't know, something like this. Okay, where the front face here is a parallelogram, that's an oblique prism. It would have a 90 degree angle out here. Okay. Uh, if the lateral face of parallelogram is called, called oblique prism, the altitude of a prism is any perpendicular segment from one base to the other. So this would be the altitude A right here. These would be altitudes here, here, and here. Okay. The altitude is the height of the prism. Yes, you're exactly correct, Luna. Okay. So these are oblique prisms. Right, so they're all kind of leaning. It's like you take a stack of paper and you kind of slide it to one side so it's not straight up and down. Okay, a pyramid is another type of polyhedron, but they only have one base. Okay, the other faces uh, are lateral faces and they're always triangles. So on this one, all the faces are triangles. And so if you want to know which one is the base, it's usually you say it's the one on the bottom, okay? Uh, this one, there's only one side that is not a triangle. That's the square. 
And so that's the base. Here it's a hexagon, so that's the, the base. The hexagon's the base. This is an oblique trapezoidal pyramid because the base is a trapezoid. Um, it's leaning to one side, so it's got an altitude that's out here like this. Okay, and if we go back over here, so um, on a prism, the sides that are the bases are the sides that are not rectangles. Okay, so this would have two bases here. They're pentagons. This had two bases. They were triangles. Now, if they're all rectangles, then whatever the top and the bottom is, is usually considered the base. Okay. Okay, a sphere. Wait, did I get everything on the other page here? Yeah, I got all this. Okay. So a sphere is not a polyhedron because polyhedrons don't have curves. Okay, but it's treated as a polyhedron. Um, a sphere, now be careful of this. A sphere is the set of all points equidistant from a center point. Not to be confused with a circle, which is the set of all points in a plane equidistant from a center point. Okay, and this should look more like this because that stuff's in the back. There we go. Much better. Same here. Okay, uh, this is a hemisphere. It's half of a sphere. Okay, a sphere has a center just like a circle. Uh, that's the point that I make my radius from. The radius is just like in a circle. It goes from the center to any point on the sphere. And that thing can move around wherever. It's always the same distance to the sphere from the center. Okay. A cylinder is similar to a prism, but it has a circle for a base. So it is not a prism. Okay. And... This is an oblique cylinder because leaning to one side. This is a regular old cylinder it's, or a right cylinder. A cylinder has an axis, okay, that goes from the center of one circle to the center of the other circle. Same here, okay. And uh, the altitude is the distance between the two uh, circles. So the altitude here would be out here. The altitude here would just be um, the side. sure why my pen isn't working. There we go. There's an altitude. Okay. A cone is similar to a pyramid, except its base is a circle. So this is a right cone. This would be the altitude. This is an oblique cone. This would be the altitude. They also have an axis that goes from the vertex to the center of the circle. So this would, the altitude and the axis are the same thing in a right cone. Okay, and that's it. So you got to know all your shapes. You got to know cones. You got to know cylinders. You got to know spheres and hemispheres. You got to know pyramids. And you got to know prisms. Okay, you need to be able to tell the difference between an oblique prism and a right prism and an oblique pyramid and a right pyramid. Okay, and uh, you need to know what a face is. Now, uh, a sphere doesn't have a face, okay? It's curved all the way around. You need to know what an edge is. A sphere also doesn't have an edge. Uh, and you gotta have no vertices. So a vertice, of course, is the corner. So this has five vertices. It has four lateral faces and a base, which makes a total of five faces, okay? And, uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges. The square pyramid does. And it's got five vertices. Okay, so if you know all that stuff, you're good to go on this lesson. There's a nice little uh, worksheet there for you to do. I will see you guys later. Have a great day.